Good afternoon, my name is Jeff Roth and I'm the athletic director here at the Wilson Central School District. I'd like to welcome everybody to our Fall Sports Awards video. Before I get on to the coaches and the teams, I wanna thank a, a few people and a few groups um, that helped make this season and all of our seasons possible. I'd like to thank Superintendent Tim Carter and the Wilson Board of Education for allowing us to compete this fall, um, again through um, a pandemic. I'd like to thank Paul Galgovich, our high school principal, Scott Benton, our middle school principal, Roxanne Benton in the athletic office, Sue Dean in the clinic, Todd Harmon as the facilities director, and I'd like to thank our Wilson All Sports Booster Club for all that they did behind the scenes to uh, make our season memorable. First and foremost, I'd like to congratulate each and every fall sports team for having a 90 or higher GPA. And I'm going to list those teams and their GPAs now. Uh, we had JV football coached by Dan Lusinski at a 93 average. Modified cross country coached by Ryan Friedrichs as a 94 average. We had varsity field hockey coached by Jamie Lepsch with a 94.3 GPA. Uh, cheerleading coached by Carrie Atlas, 94.3. JV Girls Volleyball, coached by Megan Zeller, 94.4. Varsity Football, coached by Bill Atlas, uh, 94.6. Modified Girls Volleyball, coached by Jeff Rogers, 94.6. Varsity Boys Cross Country, coached by Brett Sippel, 94.9. Uh, JV Boys Soccer, coached by Paul Herman, 95. Varsity Boys Soccer, coached by Jeff Hart, also a 95. Uh, JV Girls Soccer, coached by Katie Shaw, 95.9. Uh, Varsity Boys Golf, coached by Rich Myers with a 96.2 GPA. Varsity Girls Soccer, coached by TJ Baia, had a 98.3 GPA. Varsity Girls Volleyball, coached by Alyssa Schlosser with a 98.3. And the top GPA for the fall, Varsity Girls Cross Country, coached by Brett Sippel, a 98.8. Team GPA. Congratulations to all of those teams, coaches, and athletes on a job well done. I'd like to congratulate our girls varsity soccer team for reaching a third straight sectional final. Uh, congratulations to those girls. Um, congratulations to our boys cross country team, our girls cross country team, and our varsity field hockey teams on uh, being nominated as the top sportsmanship teams in the league this fall. Um, I'd like to thank our Wilson All Sports Booster Club for surprising our girls soccer team again this year and allowing them to ride in style on a coach bus to the sectional final um, this past fall. I'd like to congratulate our, our first team all league selections for the fall. We had Nathan Myers in golf, Leah Cloy in girls soccer, Chris Dispenza in football, Xavier Fitzgibbons in football, Evan Mahar in football, Luke Atlas in football, Patrick Hemming in boys soccer, Jaden Rubel in cross country, Ryan Ferry, girls soccer, Keegan Herman, boys soccer, Kaylin Ferry in girls soccer, and Owen Cloy in boys soccer. Congratulations to those athletes. And lastly, I'd like to congratulate our fall all Western New York Scholar athletes. These are seniors that have had a 90 average or higher all four years um, of, of, their, of their career. Um, Luke Atlas, Owen Cloy, Kaylin Ferry, Ashlyn Foxvog, Lily Fuller Delmont, Brecken Gridsmacher, Patrick Hemming, Sam Herlin, Josh Hoyt, Abby Herkham, Emma Herkham, Emil Jowdy, Noah Curiel, Bella Lemke, Juliana Levesque, Evan Mahar, Eris McGill, Morgan McGinnis, Evan McKinney, Spencer Merchant, Justin Messing, Rich Myers, Tyler Muyo, Paige Roger, Jack Schultz, Paul Smith, Chelsea Wheeler, and, Ty and Tyler Youssef. Congratulations to those outstanding student athletes um, on, a, on a job well done. And now I will turn it over to our fall sports coaches. Thank you. The Wilson golf team completed the 2021 season with a league record of two and 10, placing sixth in the league. Despite struggling to put together wins in the matches, all players improved throughout the year attaining various personal goals. This year's team consisted of senior Richie Myers, juniors Nathan Myers, Michael Bubar, and C.J. Humphrey, sophomore Grant Dixon, and seventh grader Benjamin Myers. This year's most valuable player is Nathan Myers. Nathan has been a starter on the team for the last five seasons, 
and, and is yet to miss a match. His dedication to the sport and knowledge of the rules is second to none. Nathan finished second overall in Niagara-Orleans play. He qualified for sectionals for the third straight season and was selected first team all league for the third straight year. Nathan led the team in all categories. He had a scoring average of 42.7 with 48 pars, three birdies, and two chip-ins. Congratulations, MVP Nathan Myers. This year's Sportsmanship Award goes to Michael Bubar. Michael's been a member of the golf team for the last five seasons. Whether winning or losing a match, Michael shows the same respect to his opponents before, during, and after a match. He is respectful of the rules and is more than willing to accept them even when they are not in his favor. Michael placed fifth in the league tournament and was selected as second team all league. Congratulations, Sportsmanship Award, Michael Bubar. The Coach's Award this year goes to Grant Dixon. Grant was not only new to the golf team, he was also new to the game of golf. Grant worked hard to get his game to the point where I felt he could play as our fifth scorer in a match. Grant's willingness to play in several matches allowed the team to post scores and even win two of our matches. Throughout the season, he never complained and was willing to accept suggestions on ways to improve his swing or strategy when playing. He even showed up on a day at the end of the season to practice when he didn't have to. Congratulations, Grant Dixon. Finally, I'd like to thank my wife Becky for being supportive throughout the season of nights filled with changing schedules and late dinners. I'd also like to thank Mr. Roth, Mrs. Benton, the administration for supporting the sport of golf. I would also like to thank the parents and the staff at Willowbrook Golf Course for helping to make a great season for the team. Thanks. Hi, Ryan Friedrich, coach of the Modify Cross Country team here. Just to say congratulations to my team this year, Noah Johnson, Ryder Wolcott, and Ben Gentile. All three boys had a great season. So just have a couple notes here uh, to share about the season. All right, so the Modify Cross Country team had a solid competitive season with each member showing outstanding growth and resiliency despite some tough weather days. The team consisted of all seventh graders. Like I said, Noah Johnson, Ryder Wolcott, and Ben Gentile. Noah Johnson, our team captain, had a strong season, placing third in the home meet against Medina and showed up at every meet, which not everyone can say. Ryder Wolcott had a great finish, finishing first for the modified team at All League. And Ben Gentile set personal records every time he stepped out onto the course, something a true testament to his dedication and work ethic. The greatest trait that all the teammates showed, though, was the support not only that they had for each other, but for their opposition as well. This showed a great ability of sportsmanship and respect and really represented Wilson well throughout the season. Myself, again, I would just like to say thank you for the boys, their dedication, perseverance throughout the season, even during some rainy practice days where they were not too happy with me. I am proud of each and every one of them as they had a fun and enjoyable season, and the boys did their best every day, and as a coach, that's all I can ask for. So great job, boys, and I look forward to seeing you next season. Hello, I'm Brett Sippel. I'm the girls' varsity cross-country coach. This year's team consisted of the following girls. Aurora Chase, Ashlyn Foxfog, Abby Friedman, Ella Ingerson, Maddie Jowdy, Jackie Thompson, and Cassidy Wagner. The girls had an excellent season. Team record was eight and four, and they finished third in the NL League. The team placed fifth at the C Class C2 sectional race this season. The team also was selected for the NL League Sportsmanship Award for the second straight season. Individually, Maddie Jowdy and Jackie Thompson both received honorable mention All League Award, and Ella Ingerson made second team. The Sportsmanship Award this year was voted on by the girls on the team. Uh, their selection was Cassidy Wagner. Cassidy is a junior and is a second year captain on the team. Some of the comments from her, from her teammates include, Cassidy was our team captain, but, but that isn't why, what makes her qualify for this award. 
It is a fact that no matter how her day went or what she was to do next, whatever she had to do in the moment, she did to the best of her ability and would always encourage everyone to do the same. Another comment from one of her teammates, Cassie is always cheering others on, whether it is during practice or a meet. She's enthusiastic and uplifting to both teammates and other teams. Cassidy is a positive influence, and she shows respect for everyone. Cassie always gives her best effort. And based on those two comments and the voting of the girls on the team, our sportsmanship award this year goes to Cassidy Wagner. Thank you. Congratulations, Cassidy. Well deserved. Look at the camera. Okay. Thank you. This year's Coach's Award goes to Abby Friedman, sophomore. This was Abby's first year on the varsity cross-country team this year. A couple stats about Abby's season. Abby set seven new personal records this season. That means she said in each of our 5K races this year, every single race she got faster. At sectionals this year, she placed 35th and had her best race of the season with a time of 28-21. That was about a five and a half minute improvement from her first race at Knox back in the early September. A couple comments from uh, some of Abby's teammates on why they selected her as the coach's award. Abby was a really kind, <clears throat> uplifting teammate. She showed up to practice daily, ready to put in the work, no matter the circumstances. She really pushed herself, and the girls around her too, to do their best and was always supportive. Abby was always ready to do her best and do her best willingly what needed to be done or to become a better runner, never giving up or just half effort. She always gave it her all. One of the reasons why Abby Friedman is our 2021 Coaches Award recipient. Abby? Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. This year's MVP is freshman Ella Ingerson. This is also Ella's first year on the varsity cross country team. Ella was a hard worker and mentally tough. She broke 24 minutes twice this season in the most important races of the season. She set four new personal records as the season progressed. At All League this year, she placed 13th with a time of 23.55 and earned second team All League honors. At sectionals, she was our fastest runner of the season as well and led our team to a fifth place finish. Voted on by her teammates, this year's MVP is Ella Ingersoll. Congratulations, Ella. Thank you. Great season. Look at the camera. This year's team consisted of the following boys. Keegan Foxbog, Tyler Goff Brown, Tyler Johnson, Joey Dane Jones, Emil Jowdy, Justin Messing, Ryan Messing, Jaden Rubel, and Parker Salver. The boys cross country team had an excellent season. Our team record was four and eight, and the team finished in fifth place. In the class C2 sectional race, the team placed fifth. The team also was selected for the NL League Sportsmanship Award for the fourth consecutive season. Individually, Joey Dane Jones made an honorable mention All League, and Jaden Rubel made first team All League. The, sportsman, the Sportsmanship Award this year goes to senior Justin Messing. Justin was a four year varsity runner and team captain. The team voted on this, and these were some of the comments from his teammates. He works very hard in practice and keeps pushing us forward even when we think we have to stop. He would always come in to, up to me and my other teammates after every workout and race and tell us good job and he would encourage us whenever we would finish a hard workout. No matter what he did, he always did his best. This year's Team Sportsmanship Award goes to senior Justin Messing. Congratulations, Justin. Thank you very much. Well done. This year's Coach's Award goes to Tyler Goff Brown, freshman. Tyler had an excellent season and showed great improvement. He set four new personal records this season. He ran his fastest race of the season at sectionals with a time of 23:29. That was a two and a half minute improvement from the beginning of the season. I love Tyler's attitude and work ethic. He was a great teammate. A couple comments from his teammates that voted for him. He always said good job to everyone. He was very positive and he tries his best in races and in practice. Another teammate stated, he is always the most cheerful and positive player. He will cheer on any team. And a third teammate stated, I voted for him because he is supportive and had a great attitude throughout the entire season. Based on those comments, my selection for the Coach's Award is Tyler Goff Brown. Congratulations, Tyler. Thank you. You're welcome.
Our team MVP this year is freshman Jaden Rubel. This was Jaden's first year running varsity cross country. Jaden had an outstanding season. He set three new personal records this season. He broke 19 minutes for the very first time at Barker this season with a time of 18.49. He set a personal record at the sectional race and ran his fastest race of the season in 18.34. That was a one minute and 18 second improvement from the earlier in the season on the same course. Jaden had a tremendous race at the All League race. He placed sixth with a time of 19 minutes flat. His sixth place finish earned him first team All League honors. At that sectional race I mentioned earlier, he finished ninth in the C2 race and is also, as I said, a personal best as far as improving from the beginning of the season to the end. This year's MVP, voted on by his teammates, is Jaden Rubel. Thank you. Congratulations, Jaden. Well Thank deserved. You. You're welcome. The varsity field hockey team this year consisted of 16 girls. Uh, we had four eighth graders, Ruby Nearhood, Morgan Coulter, Mackenzie Hardy, and Lauren Vanderlinden. We had three freshmen, Rain Cooper, Serena Day, and Missy DePasquale. We had seven sophomores, Abriana Cristiano, Madeline Krieger, Natalie Rossi, Greenlee George, Sydney Zemendorf, Izzy Enzina, and Emma Tower. And lastly, we had two seniors, Kirsten Day and Bella Marino. As a team, we placed seventh in the league. We had a league record of zero wins and 12 losses. Uh, despite not winning a game this season, the girls played well, considering at times we had very few subs. And they are essentially the age and experience of a JV team. They worked hard and were eager to learn and improve. And I couldn't have asked for a more fun and cooperative group of young ladies. Our greatest accomplishment this season was being selected by the league for the Team Sportsmanship Award for the fourth season in a row. So something that we're really proud of. Um, the girls earned this by losing with pride, working together as a team, and truly just you know giving it their all and never giving up. And, and not only being supportive of their own teammates, but they also were supportive of their opponents. Other league honors this season include Second Team All-League for Natalie Rossi, and First Team All-League for Kirsten Day. Next is uh, the team awards that the team voted on. So each of the girls put in some votes and we tallied them up to come up, come up with MVPs, um, Offense and Defense, Sportsmanship, and Coaches Award. The team MVP for Offense this year goes to a player who is, has stepped up as a leader and role model for her team in many ways. She led the team in uh, points this season with three goals. She has great speed with the ball and really worked on not overrunning the ball. She is a great teammate on the field and really led the team by keeping us together at all times. Senior, Kirsten Day. You actually come over here. <laughs> you can go hold your award up for there. You can take your mask off so you can smile. Good job, Kirsten. Give me a Awesome job. The team MVP for defense goes to a player who has really focused on her defensive skills and honed in on some great block tackles and not letting other players intimidate her. She is also quick to carry the ball out of our defensive circle and clear it up the field. She is someone that the team can always count on to get the job done. Sophomore, Abriana Cristiano. show your award there. Take off your mask so they can see your face. <laughs> Good job, Aubrey. Thanks. The Sportsmanship Award goes to a player who encouraged her teammates and always put forth her best effort. She is a player that I could always count on to have a great attitude and move on to the next play. Freshman, Rain Cooper. <laughs> All right, good job. And lastly, the coach's award this year goes to someone who hasn't been with us for very long, but
but she's been valuable to our team in many capacities. Without even having any years, many years, sorry, in the program. Uh, I was very impressed with her leadership that she displayed from day one this season. She is a very thoughtful person who put field hockey in her heart to be the best player. They're laughing at me. <laughs> Teammate on and off the field and truly became an essential part of the, the Focke family. Senior Isabella Marino. And I'm always good for a cry. <laughs> I told you so. I told you so. <laughs> Good job, Bella. Thank you. And with that ending our awards, um, you know, we look forward to a great season next year. We have a lot of returning players, only graduating two. So we will not be graduating any players next year because I have no juniors this year. So we have only room to grow from here. So congrats, girls, and I look forward to seeing you all next year. Thank you. Good afternoon. The Wilson JV volleyball team finished her 2021-2022 fall season with a 4-6 Niagara Orleans record. The team had great leadership by our captains Mackenzie D'Agostine and Riley Robinson. Our team was rounded out by sophomores Emma Durig and Sierra Pizzo. Freshmen Kristen DuPont, Maddie Dukesbury, Andrea Martin, Ava Milkey, Juliana Ryan, Mackenzie Winkowski, and Lily Wilson. Our eighth graders this year were Lila Adamczyk, Donna Clark, and Cassie Rennie. Our team also had a manager this season, which was ninth grader Eva Longcar. We were able to complete a full regular season, playing in all of our league and non-league competitions. This gave everyone a chance to find their niche on the court and really excel in their positions. With all of the hard work put into every practice and game, everyone was able to improve both on and off the court. This team overcame so much and proved they wanted um, to be there. We faced some very tough competitions throughout the season. However, there was only one instance that we did not win at least one set in our matches. All of our competitions were very close and our team held their opponents to very tough battles every single time. The perseverance, determination, and hard work given every day was phenomenal and really paid off in the end. Our team really came together and worked towards achieving their goals as one throughout the season. It was visible with their smiles and laughter, even through the worst drills or toughest competitions, that they were all giving it their all and having fun out on the court. Thank you for such a great season. It's an unforgettable one, ladies. Great season and good luck to those moving up to varsity. On to our MVP award. The most valuable player award goes to a player who loved cheering on her teammates, helping other players improve, and had an unbelievable passion for the game. This player had stepped into a new position last year, and she worked tirelessly since then to improve herself as a player and as a team member. This player would be in the gym before and after practices wanting to work on bettering her skills. No matter what the situation, this player always brought a sense of humor to the team, but also knew when to be serious, most of the time. She would talk to her teammates and, they would and then would advocate for what they felt was right, even if that meant telling coach that was a no to the conditioning drills. This player was chosen by her teammates to be the recipient of the MVP award this year. This year's JV Volleyball MVP award goes to Riley Robinson. Next is our Coaches Award. The Coaches Award goes to a player who always kept a positive attitude, cheered for her teammates on and off the court, and worked hard in every single practice. Even though she was not on the court for every single set, she always kept a positive attitude, a smile on her face, listened to what others had to say, gave feedback to help the others improve, and no matter what, she always pushed herself to be better. No matter what the situation, this player was always working harder and trying to make the most out of every situation. This player is truly dedicated to the game and helped others throughout the season to understand it as well. And this 
gave the girls the same passion that this player has. This player was always making others laugh, and it always helped to calm the nerves of the others on the court when the competition was heating up. This year's JV Volleyball Coaches Award goes to Ava Milkey. Up next is our Sportsmanship Award. The Sportsmanship Award this year goes to a player who decided to give JV Volleyball a try, and we're so glad she did. This player came to our open gym sessions to improve her skills and knowledge of the game. This player was always cheering on her teammates on and off the court, had a smile on her face, kept a positive attitude, and always made sure to include everyone on team drills, games, and bonding activities. No matter what happened during a game, she always kept trying her best to encourage her teammates. This player always took advice from her coach and other teammates and used it to become a better player. She always put in her best effort and did what was asked of her, both on and off the court. This year's Sportsmanship Award goes to Andrea Martin. The 2021-22 Varsity Volleyball team is as follows. 9th grader Alina Adamzik, 10th graders Kate Cliff, Honorable Mention All League, and Allie Herkham. 11th graders Lila Frerichs, Sydney Granga, Katrina Nye, Hannah Roberts, Honorable Mention All League, and Victoria Souls. And 12th graders Captain Sam Harlan, 2nd Team All League, Captain Abby Herkham. Emma Herkham, Honorable Mention All League, Juliana Levesque, Paige Roger, and Chelsea Wheeler. The varsity volleyball team finished out the 2021-22 season 4-6 in the NO League and 7-9 overall after sectional play. Although there were some tough competitors in our league, we were able to improve significantly throughout the season due to hard work at practice and really getting to know each other as individuals on and off the court. Before the season started, we set goals. The two that specifically stand out are the three C's, covering, communication, and celebration, as well as our goal to beat Akron. I would say, and I'm sure the team will agree, that our three C's were huge this season and allowed us to compete with tough teams, including Akron, who we took two sets from. This was a great accomplishment for us and something that we worked hard toward. Above all else, this season was a fun one, getting to know the girls in my first year coaching through team bonding games, dance parties, and bus rides is really what made this experience so special. A huge thank you goes out to the whole team for being a wonderful first team to work with. Seniors, I know you will go on to do great things. Remember to always stay true to yourself and keep moving forward even when times get tough. You all have a very bright future ahead of you. Underclassmen, I am very excited to see where the next few years bring us, and I look forward to the good times ahead. On to our awards, the MVP awards. This year, there is an offensive and defensive MVP. Both of these girls deserve recognition for being rock stars on and off the court. My offensive MVP is a player that was a solid, level-headed, lead-by-example kind of player. She consistently put her best foot forward and is a wonderful example of a great captain. Stats for the season include 117 digs, 35 kills, and 64 ace serves with a 93.8 serving percentage. She led the team by example, proving that great sportsmanship and a good attitude is key in being a successful teammate. She also made second team all league this year. She really has stood out as an exemplary player this season, and I will certainly miss her as a graduating senior. The Offensive MVP Award goes to Sam Harlan. <laughs> okay, my Defensive MVP is a player that was my libero the entire season. She really stepped up into this role with 100 digs and 66 assists, always doing her best to get a hand on the ball at all times. She is always open to new ideas and is always looking for new ways to make the team improve as a whole. Additionally, she was dedicated to watching film and scouting opponents in her free time, allowing us to be better prepared for game day. 
She also made the All-League Honorable Mention team. She is a great leader that I look forward to working with more next season. My defensive MVP award goes to Hannah Roberts. On to the Sportsmanship Award. The Sportsmanship Award goes to someone who was always laughing, dancing, and cheering her teammates on every day. It was not very often that I didn't see a smile on her face. She always has a willingness to work hard and improve, and she celebrates like no one else when she gets a kill, a block, or a great serve. No matter if she was on or off the court, her energy was contagious, and she was always willing to play whatever part necessary to allow the team success. I'm looking forward to seeing where this player goes in the years to come, and specifically as a senior on the team next year. This year's Sportsmanship Award goes to Victoria Souls. Finally, our Coaches Award. This year's Coaches Award goes to a player that was really a rock for me as well as the team through the entire season. As a captain, she was someone who her teammates could talk to and who I could talk to and trust. She would take any advice, challenge, or hard time head on and prove to her teammates that no matter what, you can have your head held high and a smile on your face. She always knew the right things to say and cheer in the team huddles, and she was consistently ready to play at any time. She is a true leader at heart and always made selfless contributions to the team. She is someone that I am excited to watch grow in the future as a player and individual. You'll go on to do great things. The Coach's Award goes to Abby Herkham. So I'm Coach Herman for the JV Soccer Boys. Uh, my record was six and five, and we're going to go through the four awards for the JV Soccer um, Boys team. Uh, first on the list was um, a player who came to me first day said, uh, I want to be your captain. I looked at him and I said, that's a sure thing. You should definitely be the captain, and you're in. Um, after, you know, I've had this kid since he was eight years old, I think, so... Um, it was an easy, easy place for me to put him in as captain. Um, he came in, did exactly what he was supposed to do, uh, led the team, um, solidified our defense, and hopefully he can be a kid that um, stays in Wilson soccer and develops as a great player throughout varsity next year. And um, that player for, I guess it's going to be called defensive MVP, is Nick Palermo. There it is. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Coach. You're welcome. Um, next on the list, then, is uh, actually, we'll say the Sportsmanship Award. So this is another kid, came to me fourth day, I believe, and said, I want to be your captain. Looked at him and said, definite fit, absolutely. I've had, I don't know if I coached the kid when you were eight or nine, but I definitely, we were in the program together, uh, if I do remember correctly. Um, he played all over. If I remember, I think I had you play in striker a little bit. I had you play in midfield for sure. Um, I didn't think about defense, but, um, you know, came out, was a leader for the whole year. I'm praying to God that, like the last, you know, like Nick and like the other ones, they end up being, you know, varsity players for years to come here, and it, it all works out. Um, this is uh, the award for JV Sportsmanship Award goes to David Gursky. Should be clapping. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Thank you, coach. Yep, well done. Um, next on the list is um, so this kid. This is great. I hope this story comes off as funny as it should. Um, so this kid comes off, and I have no clue where to put him. Sorry, I, I just I'm looking at him now. Um, he plays outside left for me because he has a left foot. So I figured this should be the place you should go, which is the honest mistake I keep saying to. Every coach has never put a left-footed kid on the left side just because he's left-footed. Um, turns out, Amherst game, I believe, <laughs> he has it running down the sidelines, and I go, that's the fastest kid I've ever seen on the face of this earth. And I'm going, holy cow, we need to put that kid somewhere else. So I ended up putting him up at striker. Um, it seemed to be the natural fit, um, just except your feet wouldn't work. So, you know, again, we worked on his feet. We tried to get him to um, hopefully get a little bit better um, soccer sense-wise and scoring goals. 
Um, I think years to come here again with the varsity level, you know, hopefully we found a spot there at the uh, striker spot. But this is the offensive MVP is what they're calling it. Goes to Jack Ingerson, and I'll get it wrong, but <laughs> yep, congratulations, buddy. The next award is my award. Um, it's a coach's award. It goes to the kid that you feel, um, I don't know, supported everything that you wanted to do as a coach and listened to you. Um, and I think this kid did everything and then some. If we can just keep him not injured for much of the game, and I think mom will love that one. So, um, yeah, this this award, coach's award, comes from me. Um, it, it is usually it's a surprise, but um, this one goes to Connor Shearwood for coach's award at JV level. Thank man. you. Yeah, well done. All right, uh, our first award that I'm going to be giving out today is the Offensive MVP. Um, this award is the easiest to give out because when it comes to soccer, this one is pretty much just uh, able to look at statistics. Uh, this player was first on the team with 12 goals uh, and also first on the team with 31 points. Uh, he's been a member of the varsity team uh, since his freshman year. Uh, he showed an amazing progression over the last four seasons. He went from an important role player on a league champion team as a freshman to the leading scorer on the team uh, as a senior and one of the most dangerous strikers in the league. Uh, he was awarded second team all league this year for his performance and he was selected for the uh, exceptional senior team this year as well. Uh, he finishes his soccer career at Wilson with uh, 23 goals, which places him 12th on Wilson's all-time goal list, which I know was definitely one of his goals uh, coming into varsity was to make that list. So our first award is the Offensive MVP, and this goes to Senior Captain, Joey Moo. All right, Joey, you can look at the camera. Here you go. All right, you're good. All right, thank you, sir. All right, so during, uh, during my time at Wilson, uh, we've always had a really strong defense. Uh, this year was no exception. Uh, I was a defensive player when I was in high school, so that's always been my focus. Uh, on the year, uh, we only surrendered 22 goals as a team, and we recorded eight shutouts. Uh, those statistics only happen when you have a strong defensive presence in every game. Uh, this player has been on the var uh, has also been on the varsity team for four years. Uh, he's been a part of the defense the entire time. As a freshman, he was kind of thrown into the fire as a starter from game one, and he's been an anchor on the team ever since. Uh, although there are individual statistics I can point to to show how good of a defender he's been, uh, for four years, he's been an elite defender and one of the best in Western New York. Um, in the NO League, he's been selected to the second team all-league twice, first team all-league twice, um, and then to kind of further put the season in, uh, in uh, perspective, as the year progressed, he actually moved up to striker for part of the season. He ended up scoring 11 goals in the second half of the season. He was a first-team All-League selection this year and a finalist for All-Western New York. Uh, the defensive MVP goes to senior captain Patrick Hemming. All right. Yeah, we're used to hearing that Okay. All right. The third award I'm giving out today is the Coach's Award. Um, as a head coach, it's very important to have players taking leadership roles on the team. Um, I can't be everywhere at once. Uh, as a coach, I've been uh, by myself for almost all four years. Uh, ooh, let me start that over. I've been coaching longer than four years. All right. As a head coach, so delete all that, whoever's editing this. Um, as a head coach, it's very important to have players taking leadership roles on the team. Uh, I've been by myself for most of my coaching career, so I can't be everywhere at once. Uh, whether it's drills, warm-ups, before games, after games, you know, halftime, uh, all those things, I can't, I can't be around and constantly supervising everything. Since day one in the program, this player has been a lead-by-example player. Uh, he always does everything the right way and provides a model for everyone to follow. He's a two-year captain. Uh, every single player looks up to him. Uh, his play on the field has been amazing. He's one of the best to ever play in the program. His leadership was, sets him apart, though, from a lot of those other players. Before games, he's the one I would look to to kind of gauge where the team was at. At halftime, I would talk adjustments with him. Uh, at practices, if I have to go and work with a group, I always knew if I put him in charge, uh, everything would run smoothly uh, If I, as if I was over there by myself. 100% effort, 100% of the time. Uh, the coach's award goes to senior captain, Owen Cloy. All right, come on in, Owen. It's fine. Your hair looks There you go. All right. And last but not least, the sportsmanship award. Uh, this player has been a huge part of the varsity team for the past three seasons. Uh, as a junior, he came into the year injured. Uh, he worked real hard all year so he could give every, everything that he had. 
And I know uh, last year was a big disappointment for him because he was never at 100% for us, but he still gave 100% effort. Uh, as a senior, he showed up with a vengeance, ended up being selected as a team captain, um, and I was happy that that happened because he ended up being a great captain all year. Uh, one of the hardest working players I've ever had. He gives 100% whenever he's on the field. And although he plays hard and never gives in, he keeps it clean, and he earned the respect of all the coaches in the league that we compete against. Uh, when he was up for all league selection, every coach reiterated what a hard working and clean player he is uh, when he was selected for second team all league. Uh, as a team, we all agree, is definitely one of our most photogenic players during all the games as well. Never takes a bad picture, even though we try it constantly. Uh, but the Sportsmanship Award goes to senior captain, Noah Curiel. All right. There you go, sir. Sweet. All right, guys. Before we get started into the awards, I would like to introduce to you the 2021-2022 Wilson JV Girls Soccer Team. Uh, first, we have Kyrie Beck, Madison Chase, Lila DeLine, Lily DePasquale, Emma DePasquale, Kylie Elia, Abby Ferry, Bailey Fournier, Tessa Gunther, Gwendolyn Letts, Kaylee Mahoney, April Paul Redding, Grace Rakowitz-Smith, Megan Sider, Rowan Simpson, Isabella Thrush, Paige Thrush, Brooke Urban, and Jocelyn Ziemendorf. This season, the JV Girls soccer team was a force to be reckoned with in the NL League, with being the youngest team in the league, with 18 middle school aged players and one high schooler, the girls went on to finish second in the league with an eight and two record. This gives promising hope for the program's future as the girls continue to work hard in playing and learning all aspects of the game. Leading the pack for scoring goals was Grace Rakowitz-Smith with a total of 11 goals and 6 assists. Following shortly behind her with 6 goals was Kyrie Beck. Excellent play development was created this season by Rowan Simpson and Megan Sider. On the defensive end, no nonsense defending was instilled by Kylie Ilya, Abby Ferry, Tessa Gunther, and Gwendolyn Letts. Furthermore, Brooke Urban finished the season with a total of seven shutouts in net. With all the great efforts from these hardworking girls, I am excited to see what the future holds and the direction this truly impeccable program is headed in. With that being said, let's get on to the awards. For our offensive MVP player, this player was the type of player that you wish you could replicate and build an army of. Her enthusiasm and energy that she brought to every practice and every game was inspiring. This individual is noted for her ability to humbly set up her teammates to score and respectfully cheer on their success while she was the one who started the play. She also was the one to put the ball in the net when the team needed the lift the most. Her vision and work ethic inspired her teammates around her and helped lead us towards such a successful season. Our offensive most valuable player is awarded to Grace Rakowitz Smith. Yeah. You're just gonna... Thank you. Smile the camera. There you go. <laughs> For our defensive most valuable player, our defensive MVP is being awarded to a very determined individual. This player would often be the one who took every moment seriously and was driven to ensure that every moment was used to improve not only herself, but her teammates as well. When looking at her, most teams underestimated her ability to sniff the ball out. However, this player won most, if not all, of her 1v1 battles and helped advance the ball into our offensive line. This player truly made an impeccable difference on our back line. This year's most valuable defensive player goes to Kylie Ilya. Coach's Award. This individual was a vocal leader for our team who inspired a great work ethic within her teammates. This individual was at practice early and stayed late to either get more repetitions in or to assist other teammates or even just to help clean up the surrounding area. This individual instilled character in our program with her respect towards her teammates, her coaches, and the game itself. Our Coach's Award goes to Abby Ferry. Oh, 
the Lakeside Sportsmanship Award. This award is going to a player who consistently demonstrated great character during games and practices. Many times I saw this player helping opposing teams and her own teammates up after a fall or a hard tackle, or with that simple form of encouragement that we all need as well. Furthermore, this player consistently cheered on her teammates' success and never boasting about her own. This is an individual who truly demonstrates the value of a team and how a team can become your family. Our Lakeside Sportsmanship Award goes to Rowan Simpson. And that is your 2021-2022 JV Girls Soccer Team. Thank you. The 2021 Girls Varsity Soccer Team had a great season. They finished second in the league with a 6-2 record and were for the third straight year sectional runners-up, losing a heartbreaker to Frewsburg 1-0 in the Class C Finals. The girls say goodbye to four great seniors, Isabel Lemke, Eris McGill, and co-captains Kalen Ferry and Morgan McGinnis. Postseason honors this year were led by Leah Cloy, sophomore, who was named to the first team All-League and fifth team All-State. Also named to the first team All-League was Kalen Ferry, senior, defender. Congratulations, yeah. Kalen. Thank you. Her sister Ryan was also named to first team All-League uh, as a midfielder. Come on up, Ryan. Congratulations. Okay, three juniors were named to the second team All League. They were Maddie Miller, Kaylee Alcorn, and Maddie Schultz. Honorable mentions this year went to Morgan McGinnis, Sr., Isabel Lemke, Sr., and Sarah Urban, Jr. This year we had uh, team awards named to our IGA Sportsmanship Award, uh, a young girl who exuded sportsmanship from the beginning of the season right through to the end, Gracie Phillips. Congratulations to Gracie. Our Coaches Award this year goes to a young girl who greatly improved in the offseason and went from a good player to a great field player, and that is Kaylee Alcor. Congratulations to Kaylee. Our MVP offense goes to a girl who had an outstanding year scoring and assisting and really was the centerpiece of our offense. This year's MVP offense goes to Maddie Schultz. Congratulations, Maddie. Thank you. <laughs> and our senior defender who led our defense for four years, um, winning defensive MVP in several of those years, all league in three of those years, our senior Defensive MVP goes once again to Kaylin Ferry. Congratulations, Kaylin. <laughs> thank y'all. The girls would also like to thank Coach Crum and Coach Herman um, for their help throughout the season. They, their help was uh, unmistakable. Thank you and congratulations. The JV football team for the 2021 fall season consisted of Gabe Fitzgibbons, Brendan Ruddy, Connor Ernest, Brock Lepsch, Ethan Lackner, Connor Peck, Colton Frericks, Ian Paul, Casey Sedoti, Blake Martin, Jacob Stevenson, Matthew Stoltenberg, Landon Mueller, Braden Seeley, Jack Mahar, Nick Lemke, James Little, Michael Jeffords, Koa Lipai, Cristofano Inersano, Trent Abbott, Emrick Muck, Joseph Fay, Ryan Filicelli, Matteo Bach, Hamza Merrick, Willie Workketter, and Braden Lepsch. The awards for the 2021 Fall JV football team consist of Offensive MVP, Jack Mahar. Defensive MVP, Ethan Lackner. Coaches Award, Joseph Fay. And the Sportsmanship Award goes to Brock Lepsch. The 2021 season started off mostly normal. Stayed mostly normal, got a little weird for a little bit, then finished up mostly normal. 
although we missed a game to an opponent's COVID situation, and some of our own players even missed time because of their COVID situation, we had, for all intensive purposes, a mostly normal season. Camp was back in August this year, even though it felt like only three weeks after the season ended from the 2020 spring season, which was actually in the 2021 spring. We kept telling our guys, bring water, bring water, stay hydrated, bring more water, drink more water, but yet we still cramped up. That's the difference between the spring and the summer. We had a good chunk of returning players. Even though some of them were one and done from the spring, we had a good group returning. Last spring's roster peaked at about 40 players. This year stayed steady at about 28. Numbers are good and our future is bright. Coach Nevins even wears sunglasses. This season was the story of a team that lost its first game and didn't like how that felt. The season is about a team that never gave up. This season is about a group of guys who decided early on they weren't going to lose again. And they didn't. After dropping the season opener at Pioneer, the team ran the table for six consecutive wins, including Medina, Akron, and Newfane. How about even a thrilling last-second victory against Depew? And then a shootout victory over Cleveland Hill. This season was all about rolling with the punches. Guys quarantine, next man up. Guys got injured, next man up. Name the position and the guys stepped up at a moment's notice. Sometimes they even took care of business. Are we losing a lot of sophomores this year? Sure. But yet we see a lot of young guys coming to help our core for next season. So for the guys that are going up to varsity, thank you. And for the guys that are going to be young guys coming to help us next year, giddy up. Let's go. I'm Coach Carrie Atlas, and this is the 2021 Football Cheer Season Sports Awards. Our season this year was filled with laughs and fun times. It culminated with a very impressive performance in the inaugural sectional game day competition. I love the fall. There's something about starting off the season outside in tank tops cheering in the sun and ending the season all bundled up in sweatshirts, warm-ups, hats, and gloves. And any of you that know anything about the Atlas family, it's no secret that our favorite season is football. There were some really exciting games this season where our cheer team showed off their talents and we had the crowd truly engaged. The notable games for us were the win against Newport and, of course, when we beat Newfane. It's easy to support our football team when we know how hard they work. They give it their all at each game, and our fans are amazing. Our co-ed squad this year experienced quite a few successes and had a great time in the process, but boy did they work hard. Game day competition is a new concept rolled out by New York State, um, and this type of competition comes with completely separate rules than that that we're used to in the winter. Um, in totally different expectations. Preparing for something like this takes a lot of research, studying of the rules, buy-in from the team, and a lot of dedication and tons of practice. It was so grueling, in fact, that there were a number of cheer squads throughout the state that opted not to participate in the sectional competition because it was just too difficult and they couldn't get it together on time. For this squad, quitting was not an option. We added the necessary elements to our repertoire. We added props like flags and megaphones and signs, and we rocked that competition. Our performance was just about flawless. Let's not talk about the music fail. Um, it, but it placed us in fourth for our class for the entire section and fifth overall for the entire West region. This is outstanding, and it should be something that should be applauded. Our roster consisted of some energetic and talented middle schoolers. They are 7th graders Samantha Serafini and Fiona Schrock, 8th graders Isabel Nugent, Carrie Simmons, and Sierra Strack, three already very seasoned freshmen, Jalen Held, and co-captains Stephanie Atlas and Ella Alessi, sophomores Nick Figuera and Natalie Budd, and co-captain junior Sophia Figuera. Our seniors were captains Lily Fuller-Delmont and Brecken Gritzmacher. 
I just want to take a minute to thank all the families that traveled all the way with us to Binghamton. It was great to see your faces in the hotel and in the arena. It was quite an experience for all of us, and we were happy to share it with all of you. A special thanks to Sierra's mom and Sammy's mom for providing us with treats throughout the season. And we're also very grateful to Coach Atlas and the football team, who not only invited us to a delicious dinner, but made us feel appreciated the entire season long. Now to the awards. Our MVP is usually the hardest worker on the squad between choreography, creating cheers, execution of skills, coordinating the efforts for signs and decorations, and stepping up to be a great leader for our squad member, this award exemplifies what the ultimate cheerleader should be. This athlete brought a lot of ideas to our routine and was consistently willing to help out anyone that needed just a little bit more instruction. She was pivotal in organizing our decorating efforts for both homecoming and senior night. She lived up to the expectations of a captain. I'm thrilled to present the MVP award to Sophia Figuera. Our sportsmanship award goes to a lady that stepped in this year to be a very valuable member of our stunt groups. She was solid and confident, and even though she had a few setbacks this season, including a car accident, a COVID exposure break from school, and uh, worked through a mysterious forearm injury, she was a vocal leader that brought our team to that fourth place sectional title. The Lakeside Sportsmanship Award goes to Lily Fuller Delmont. Our final award is the Coaches Award. This athlete is deserving of this award because of his steadiness, willingness to do all that was asked of him. He, was also, he also self-defined his role as a member of our co-ed squad and turned out to be an incredibly stunt group member. He was always the first to offer his help and his opinion, even when it was an opposing opinion, for the betterment of the squad. I'm very happy to give the Coaches Award to Nick Figuera. Welcome to the 2021 Wilson Varsity Football Sports Awards. My roster consisted of, by jersey number, Mason Branca, Luke Atlas, Jonathan McCurio, Drew Dable, Chris Dispenza, Evan Krieger, Damian Mills, Paul Smith, Tyler Usett, Eric Georgel, Jaden Dietz, Carter Pitlick, Michael Champion, Ben Workhutter, Xavier Fitzgibbon, Brandon Martin, Austin Grenga, Josh Hoyt, Gabe Cooper, Justin Hoyt, Evan Mahar, Antonio Gregg, Matt Carr, Aiden Abbott, John Ernest, Evan Wolf, and Tyler Mulio. The varsity football team bowled over their competition this year and finished on a high note, winning the Section 6 Class C Chuck Funky Bowl Championship. The team had 16 seniors this year and finished the season with seven wins and three losses. And most importantly, one of those seven wins was against rival Newfane. Being in charge of the offense was Tyler Youssef, leading the offense in all passing categories. Luke Atlas led the team in rushing and scoring. Chris Dispenza led the team in receiving, and Xavier Fitzgibbon led the team in tackles. The offensive line, consisting of Josh Hoyt, Matt Carr, Evan Mahar, and Brandon Martin, opened up gaping holes for our runners to maneuver through. Key players Paul Smith, Drew Dable, John Ernest, Ben Workhutter, Cartler Pitlick, Mason Bronca, Jaden Dietz, and Evan Krieger propelled the Lakemen to great heights. Looking forward to the future, things will be changing in the short term. Our league assignments will be different next year, meaning new opponents and longer trips. But the Lakemen are up to the challenge. Thank, thanks, men, for a great campaign. And now for the awards. Our Offensive MVP. Each year I have the team vote for Offensive and Defensive Most Valuable Player Award. This year, neither contest was very close. Offensively, this young man had a wonderful career and a great 2021 season. Defensively, as a linebacker, he was second on the team in tackles and second on the team in sacks. But offensively is where he shined. As a top wide receiver, this player had 24 catches for 441 yards and eight touchdowns. He led the team in all these categories. For the season, the 24 catches has him tied for 14th all time. The 441 yards has him ranked ninth all time, and his eight touchdowns had him fifth all time for receivers. For this player's career, his two touchdowns last year and his eight this year puts him fifth all time for a career receiving touchdowns in Wilson history. Congratulations goes to the offensive MVP this year, Chris Dispenza. Defensive MVP. This player played offensive guard for us, and he did a great job opening running lanes for our backs, but defense is where he excelled. He led the team in solo tackles with 52, tackle assists with 13, and tackles behind the line of scrimmage with 21. He had a total of 71 solo tackles for his career. Even though the season was shortened last year because of the pandemic, he, he was able to make his way to the 21st ranking in school history for solo tackles over his career. 
He was the physical, mental, and emotional leader of that side of the ball, and he will be sorely missed. The defensive MVP goes to Xavier Fitzgibbon. Offensive Coaches Award. We are a large coaching staff, and I do allow input on most decisions. All football coaches voted in 2021 for who they thought should be awarded the, the coaches' awards. This year, our Offensive Coaches Award goes to an athlete who played both sides of the ball. On defense, he was able to be third on the team in tackles. He was also able to score six uh, or receive six interceptions, which he was tied for second this year in all of Section 6. That also put him ranked seventh in Wilson career history. Offensively is where he did the most of his damage. He was able to lead the team in rushing with 919 yards on 160 attempts and nine touchdowns. He also caught two passes for touchdowns. The 919 yards puts him 11th best in Wilson history for a season. His 1,098 yards puts him 14th overall for a pandemic shortened career. He was able to help set up and establish blocking assignments and was just an overall hard nosed player, and he'll be missed. The Offensive Coaches Award goes to Luke Atlas. Defensive Coaches Award. This award goes to a player who played on the offensive line for us and was a four year starter there. This is a rare feat in Wilson history. Defensively, at defensive end, he was able to record 22 total tackles, two fumble recoveries, which led the team, and 10 tackles for loss, which was second on the team. Most impressive were his team-leading seven sacks. This ranked him 15th for a season, and his 10 career sacks puts him 12th overall in his career. On both sides of the ball, this player was a student of the game. He made the other players around him better by not only his play on the field, but his help during film and practice. The Defensive Coaches Award goes to Evan Mahar. Sportsmanship. This year's Sportsmanship Award goes to a player that played both ways for us. Being an offensive lineman and defensive lineman, it never comes with big stats or uh, big stat lines in the newspaper. They do all the dirty work. They rarely touch the ball and their names are rarely called over the speakers during the game. But they are an integral part to our success. Especially this year, he was tasked with protecting our quarterback's blind side and he did a great job of it. He was a very cerebral player and really understood what we were trying to accomplish both offensively and defensively. Most importantly, he never had a nasty word to say about a teammate or an opponent. He practiced hard every day and was a consummate gentleman. We're proud to have him on the field. The Sports Sportsmanship Award goes to Joshua Hoyt. At the time of this writing, the All-League uh, numbers did come out. Our honorable mention this year for... Class C North for football all league is Tyler Youssef, Paul Smith, Ben Workcutter, Brennan Martin, and Carter Pitlick. Second team all league was Mason Bronca at wide receiver, Josh Hoyt at offensive line, Drew Dable at defensive back, and Matt Carr at defensive line. And our first team all league for 2021 is Evan Mahar at offensive line, Chris Dispenza at linebacker, Xavier, Xavier Fitzgibbons at linebacker, and Luke Atlas at defensive back. And at the writing of this, the Player of the Year Award for Class C North was not decided yet, but um, Xavier Vitzgibbon and Luke Atlas have both been nominated. Thank you very much.